hello dear students in today's lecture we will discuss the basic concept of integral transform so starting from the definition of integral transform and in this lecture we will discuss how integral transform becomes the laplace transform hankel transform millian transform and so many other transform so let us start from the definition an improper integral of the form minus infinity to infinity an improper integral minus infinity to infinity k of s comma t ft dt is called integral transform of ft if it convergent sometimes it is denoted by fs or t of ft or f bar of s so this is the format of integral transform an improper integral of the form minus infinity to infinity k of s comma t ft dt k is called kernel of the transform minus infinity to infinity k of s comma t ft dt and this improper integral is denoted by fs or t of ft or f bar of s thus f bar of s fs or t of ft can be written as minus infinity to infinity k of st ft dt this function k of st is known as the kernel of the transform here k of st is known as the kernel of the transform here s is the parameter and is denoted by t s may be real or complex if we take k of st equal to e to the power minus st when t is greater than equal to 0 and 0 when t is less than 0 then this equation 1 means f bar of s f s t of ft becomes 0 to infinity e to the power minus st ft dt and this integral is known as the laplace transform so the laplace transform is 0 to infinity integration over 0 to infinity e to the power minus st ft dt here k of st is e to the power minus st means kernel of the transform k of st is known equal to e to the power minus st some important integrals number 1 Zero when t is less than zero, e to the power minus st when t is greater than equal to zero. This is the value of the kernel of the transform k of st, and integral is i of s f f uh, ft comma s is zero to infinity e to the power minus st ft dt as I have discussed above. Then this transform is known as the Laplace transform. and the laplace transform is denoted by l of ft comma fs as a notation second one zero when t is less than zero and t to the power s minus 1 when t is greater than equal to zero and the integral becomes zero to infinity t to the power s minus 1 ft dt then this integral is known as millian transform and the notation of millian transform is m of ft such that s and here the kernel of the transform is t to the power s minus 1 now the third one is 0 when t is less than 0 under root 2 by pi sin of st when t is greater than equal to 0 and the integral becomes Under root two by pi outside of integral and zero to infinity sine of s t f t d t, this is known as Fourier sine transform and it is denoted by f s of f t such that s. This is the Fourier sine transform. Now other is the fourth one is zero when t is less than zero, uh, and the next part is under root two by pi cos of s t. when t is greater than equal to 0 and the integral becomes under root 2 by pi integration over 0 to infinity cos of st ft dt and 
this integral is known as Fourier sine, oh sorry, Fourier cosine transform, and it is denoted by as a notation f c of f t such that s. Now the next one is one by under root two pi e to the power i of s t comma minus infinity less than t less than infinity and the integral becomes 1 by under root 2 pi minus infinity to infinity e to the power i s t f t d t and the, this integral is known as the complex Fourier transform and it is denoted by f of f t such that s same as Laplace transform. Now the next is 0 when t is less than 0 t j u of j v of s t when t is greater than or equal to 0 here j v of s t is the first kind of Bessel's functions of order v and the integral is 0 to infinity t of j v of s t f t d t and this is this integral is known as the Henkel transform and it is denot denoted by as a notation h v of f t such that s here kernel of the Henkel transform is T of J V of S T and many more other transform. Thank you.